everyone, it's Maddie and me, and today we are on an adventure. We are going to Book Barn, which is a huge warehouse filled with secondhand books. We've been once before, like two summers ago, and we found some interesting stuff, so hopefully there will be some gems there today. We do have some things in mind that are on our university reading lists for next year, and they mostly specialise in classics, but they have a really old and weird YA section yeah. that's just like a time capsule from 2004. <laughs> so we'll see what's there. So we've stopped at an Asda. They have so much. Heartless, which is Tears, which we got recently, and Amargo and Me. And look at all these geek girls, that's amazing. She's going to be able to fit like a whole row soon. And then they have the Murder Most Unladylike books, which I might have to treat myself to just because I really loved them. Okay, we've just moved slightly further along and found the School of Good and Evil books, which is always a good sign. And then they have The Hunger Games and Divergent. Front line, or a load of Michael Grant. That's insane that they have so much here. Yes. Yeah, so I think I'm definitely going to get these three because I absolutely love the first book and really wanted to continue the series. And I don't think I've seen them in our local library. So to have them is really great. And then I'm also considering getting A Court of Mist and Fury just because every time I've talked about it, people have said that even if they didn't like A Court of Thorns and Roses that much, this one blew them away. And for such a cheap price and such a thick book, I'm not sure I'd be comfortable reading it in e-edition format. So getting it in paperback. You could be anywhere right now. <laughs> Hang on. Let's go find Maddie, who's found historical fiction somewhere. Where is she gonna be? Down there? She's down here. <laughs> you found it. We definitely have to read her. Yeah. We've got... She's in this section. We can come back in the summer, I guess, once we have a clearer idea of what we need to buy. From the panel that we went to Falling in Love and Fandom, all of the authors had good things to say about One Day by David Nichols, and they had a lot of these here. And I've seen them in charity shops all the time, and this is only a pound here, so we might as well get it. And then I came here with the purpose of trying to find out some historical fiction, so I decided to go with The Other Bowling Girl by Philippa Gregory, just because I know these are like both of these authors are names I've heard before, and that's how small the font is, which makes me want to cry. So I think I'll be reading about two pages of this every day and then I have Bringing Up the Bodies by Hilary Mantel and these are all cool because we studied Tudor history at A level so hopefully I'll be putting my knowledge to good use. There are so many books here as it said a million and I wouldn't contest that at this point. Luckily they have like these little tabs that tell you more exactly what you're looking for um, and at the end of each row you've got a little checklist of what they've got and it seems to have no real <laughs> order to it. That's probably my favourite one. Psychology, linguistics, sociology, DIY, homemaking. Oh, gone down. Oh, that's a lucky spot. So we finished our trip to Book Barn now with only three books, which, you know, is quite good. And we found some books by authors that we're studying next year. So when we actually have a more definitive reading list, we'll come back and get some. We've gone for a last minute pick of The Ice Cream Girls by Dorothy Coomson because this was on ITV like four or five years ago now. And we remember watching it and enjoying it. And I kind of hoped it would come up in a charity shop eventually, but it hasn't. And now we found it here, so we're gonna get it. Mm -hmm. 